everyone welcome to my channel ahan entertainments this is my first official video in my youtube channel so let me introduce myself i am sharanya i am from kerala india i completed my graduation in nursing from kerala and then i migrated to new zealand to do post graduate diploma in health science following that i pursued my dream to become a registered nurse in new zealand by completing the competency assessment program or cap course and finally i am a registered nurse in new zealand as i said earlier i completed my post graduation in new zealand after completing my course i did a video for the institution in which i completed the course regarding the scope of the program so i received some enquiries regarding further scope of the program and how to get registered in a particular profession i thought it's better to do a video detailing about the scope of the program and how to get registered in a particular health profession the institutions provide post graduate courses in health science health management public health and specialties such as drop care the course fees depends from institutions to institutions you can search in details in particular institutional websites the post graduate courses include post graduate diploma program which is level 8 and masters programs which is level 9 level 8 programs is one year duration which includes two semesters and the level 9 is one and a half years which is three semesters and that includes further research for level 9 candidates they can bring their families through dependent visas based on some immigration criteria but the course fees also depends on the institution and it varies for level 8 and level 9 programs the post graduate programs paves a pathway for you to migrate to new zealand and pursue your career the course itself won't get you to register in your profession before starting the processing itself you need to identify the criteria of getting registered in your particular profession after completing the program and you should ensure that you meet all these criteria before you traveling to new zealand itself otherwise for some profession the criteria are mandatory and after completing the course you won't be able to get registered in your particular profession this is the main point that you keep in mind before migrating to new zealand for example to get registered as a nurse in new zealand the basic criteria includes the first one minimum il score of 7 for each module second one you need to have 2 years of experience without any gap third one you should be a graduate in nursing these criteria are mandatory out of these three criteria the two which includes you should be a nurse graduate nurse from your home country the second one you should have 2 years of nursing experience after completing your registration in your home country that you can't get from new zealand so you should ensure you meet these two criteria before migrating to new zealand itself the english language score either oet or ielts that you can achieve even after completing the post graduate programs this is the main thing that you need to keep in mind what are the advantages of doing a post graduate course in healthcare in new zealand before you get registered in your profession the first one is you get migrate to new zealand with a minimum english language score the second one is you will get employed as a healthcare assistant or a social worker during your course or program which will enhance your english language and that makes you more confident to attend further english test required for your professional registration the third one is also related to the english language efficiency which includes you will get trained for academic writing and you will be doing more research works which will enhance your academic writing reading and listening that also add your confidence to face an english test in my personal experience the best decision i have ever made in my life is 
to do the postgraduate course in New Zealand. I came to New Zealand with the minimum English language score and I achieved the required score for nursing registration after six months of doing the program and now I am a registered nurse in New Zealand. I would like to add uh, some extra advantages such as uh, like completing a postgraduate course itself uh, will add your qualification when you get registered in your profession and that will add to your remuneration packages according to the company policies and the other one is uh, completing a postgraduate course in New Zealand itself will help you to get some extra points when you apply for your permanent residency. If you are struggling to get the required score for English language test to get registered as a health professional in New Zealand, uh, it's a better option for you to uh, come uh, to New Zealand to do a postgraduate course uh, which will add an extra qualification to your profession and also it will help you to enhance your English language. So you will feel more confident to attend an English language test and uh, you will get your required score. So it is from my personal experience uh, when I completed my postgraduate course I had uh, 13 uh, care lights uh, those who were nurses uh, from home country so we all had the same problem with the English language score back home so uh, after completing the course within six to one six months to one year of completing the course we all got our required English lang English language score and we got registered uh, as nurses in New Zealand so if you are willing to work hard and also you like to pursue a postgraduate course in New Zealand, it's a better option. If you feel like this video is informative, please uh, share it with your friends and family. And also, please do subscribe to my channel, Ahan Entertainments. Uh, there is more videos to come. Uh, so, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.